In the previous video, we had a look at the button component from Material UI. In this video, let's look at our first button related component, which is button group. The button group component, as the name indicates, is used to group buttons. Let's look at an example. In the same MUI button component, I'm going to add another stack with three buttons. A possible scenario for this could be allowing the user to align content either left, center, or right. So stack direction is equal to row. I'm going to add a button. The text is left and variant is equal to contained. Make two copies. The second button is going to be center and the third button, the text is going to be right. If we save the file and take a look at the browser, we see the three buttons. Now we don't have to separate them as they are for one functionality, but this UI doesn't look great. To fix this, we use the button group component. At the top, import it from the core library. And wrap the three buttons with the component. If you now save the file and head back to the browser, the appearance is much better. But there is still room for improvement. When you use a button group component, the variant should be specified on the button group and not on the individual buttons. So variant is equal to contained and remove the variant prop from the individual buttons. If we now take a look at the browser, we have nicely styled group of three buttons. You can change the variant to outlined, in which case you see the outlined button group and we also have the text variant, in which case you see the text button group. Now there are a few more props that I want to walk you through. First, if you want this button group to be displayed vertically, you can pass in the orientation prop. So orientation is equal to vertical. Take a look at the browser and the buttons are displayed vertically. Next, we can also specify the size and color. Let's specify size is equal to small and color is equal to secondary. I'll revert variant back to contained. Take a look at the browser and we see the smaller sized button group with secondary palette color. What you should remember though is that the onclick prop has to be specified on the individual buttons. So on the first button, onclick is equal to curly braces add a function and we simply alert left clicked. Take a look at the browser, click the left button and we see the alert. The same doesn't happen with center or right. Now a last point on the button group is that it is recommended you add an aria label. So let's add aria label is equal to alignment button group. This will help with accessibility. So that is about the button group component in Material UI. In the next video, let's take a look at the toggle button component. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.